Hi, Scrolling Along with Susan here again. I'm going to be doing another computer program video. This is going to be using a free application called Inkscape, and it's going to be how I print out my letters to cut out with my scroll saw. And I'm just going to do a fun, silly little sign here. So I hope that you get something out of this if you've not used Inkscape before and see how easy it is to print out and choose your fonts for your letters. Here on my computer, I have Windows 10 and I have uploaded the software Inkscape. And you can get this very easily online and it is free and wonderful. And here is my main screen. Right here, this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet. In fact, I'm gonna go up here first of all and change this mm millimeters to inches so I can work with inches. And I'm going to go on my keyboard and hit the plus sign to make it a little bit larger so I can see what I'm doing. Now for my letters, I'm going over here and clicking the A for text. Then I'm going to go on the eight and a half by 11 sheet basically on the computer and click to give myself a cursor. And in that cursor, I'm going to type my letters G-O-A-W-A-Y. I told you it was kind of corny and funny, but it's simple and it is something that I can easily work with. After I type the letters that I want, I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard twice. And that will take us up to this arrow, kind of slanted a little bit to the left. Just click it to make sure that it is definitely on that. When you go back to your letters, position the cursor on top of the letters and click once. And it will allow you to control your letters. I can make this longer, wider. I can do whatever I want with this. And this is just in the standard lettering. I think my sign needs to have a little bit more of a handwritten look to it. So over here, there are a lot of choices that you can make on the font to use. And I'm going to use with one, that, one that's called One Stroke Script. Alphabetical order here. You can see there's a lot to choose from. So I'm going to use the one stroke, stroke script LET, click on that, and then I'm going to click apply. Remember to always make sure you have this selected. That means you have all the little arrows that are around it. And I like the way that looks. I think it's more, I don't know, funny, I guess, and more what a sign would look like. Up here, it tells you what size you're working with. So right now my letters would print out at 7 inches, 7.1 inches, and the height would be about 4.19 inches. And I want this a little bit bigger. So I am going to come up here to this arrow down to make it sideways. Come over here and reposition. And I'm going to make it to about, I would say about... That's about 10.8, see how it says 10.856 inches. It's an 11 and a half inch page, so that should make sure that all of it prints out okay. And the letters, uh, normally the planks I use are about five inches, so I better shrink this a little bit. And you can shrink it this way, or you can actually go up and type in up here what you want the letters to print out at. I'm going to keep it right about four point, almost four inches there. Now before I save this, down at the bottom you can see your color palette. As long as it is, is clicked, I still want to emphasize that this needs to be clicked to make it active to make any changes. I don't want to use up all my black ink on my printer. So I'm going to change the color to a lighter gray. I can still see it. I'll still be able to use it on my wood because I'm going to be gluing it to the wood. But this will save on my printer ink. Then you go up here to File, click on File, and you're going to save as 
and then choose the name that you're going to save it as. I'm going to save it as Go Away, or I should say Go Away. Oops, let's get that off the screen here. Sorry about that. Save. I can print it right from here. If you like what you see, you can print it in whatever system you want. You can save it to your desktop by exporting it to get a PNG file out of it by going up here to export PNG image. Inkscape tried to make things very simple for you so that you don't have to make complicated decisions. Thanks everybody for following me on this new video tutorial. If you like what you see, click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.